Thanks so much for that. Well, it comes in as a bit of a surprise. Wipro has announced the resignation of the CEO, Thierry Delaporte, with effect from 6th of April 2024. He will be replaced by Wipro veteran and insider Srinivas Palya as the new CEO and managing director, effective immediately. That said, Thierry will stay on till the 31st of May to ensure a smooth transition, but he does step down before his five-year term comes to an end in July 2025. Now, who is the new CEO, Srinivas Palya? He is a Wipro veteran and an insider. He's been with the company since 1992, which means more than three decades. And in his tenure, he's held many leadership positions, including the president of Wipro's consumer business unit, global head of business application services. And most recently, he's been the CEO of the America's One region, which is Wipro's largest geographic unit, contributing 31% to its revenues. Now, what's the street view on this? Well, for a change, Wipro has opted for an internal candidate. Remember, the previous two CEOs, Abid Ali Nemuchwala and Thierry Delaporte, were both external hires. Uh, Abid Ali Nemuchwala came from TCS. So, Srinivas Palya, being an insider, it gives him a head start compared to what any other external candidate would have had. And therefore, in that sense, it's a bit of a positive. But the company has had its fair share of CEO churn and the company struggled under the various CEOs. And therefore, the street is going to be watching out for the turnaround strategy. Is there going to be a change in this strategy? For instance, will they continue to focus on consulting, which theory did? So that's going to be an important watch point. But the assumption is that the recovery is going to be gradual. That said, any new CEO, whether it's internal or an external, his job on hand will remain the same. One is revive growth. Now, Wipro's growth rate has faltered compared to that of the industry, not just in FY23, but even in the preceding years under the different CEOs. In fact, in FY24, in the first three quarters, the company has reported a negative revenue growth. So reviving growth, getting back to industry growth rate, the revival of Capco, which has been hit on account of the macro pressures, the discretionary spending coming down, is going to be very crucial. And also stemming attrition. The company has seen a slew, a spate of high-level, senior-level exits. This list is not exhaustive, but you know the recent two, the most high-profile ones, were the CFO, chief growth officer, all stepping down in the last six months. Now, all eyes are going to be on the new CEO as he takes charge. In fact, CNBC TV18 has accessed an email written by him, Srinivas Palya, to his employees, and this is what he had to say. Our core purpose remains supporting our client's success. I will be a relentless advocate, urging us to focus on execution, embrace bold ideas, and take calculated risks to propel us forward. Together, let's craft the next chapter in Wipro's story, building upon the strong foundation led by those who came before us and shaping the future of technology and business for generations to come.